If you have an internet connection, you've probably heard of President Donald J. Trump. You may have also heard of a book that was ghostwritten of his, Art of the Deal, ghostwritten by Tony Schwartz, who is, of course, known for his anti-Trump Twitter rants. That said, I want to pause right here and let you know, this is not a political video. I am not here to take sides, no side, but your side as the author. In this video, I want to share with you a profound lesson that Tony Schwartz is, the Trump ghostwriter, and the lesson it teaches you as an aspiring author about how to hire the best ghostwriter for your book. Let's take a look at this tweet over here, which just, as I said, it kind of goes off the rails and it looks like a little bit of a backstabbing, backbiting uh, takedown of Mr. Tony Schwartz's former client. There is a professional ethic among ghostwriters. Even if you despise your former client, you never ever speak ill of them in public. In fact, it's relatively common for authors to ask ghostwriters to sign an agreement which has confidentiality or even non-disclosure that you worked with them in the first place. Mr. Trump's experience with Mr. Schwartz tells us what you do not want in a ghostwriter, which is someone who obliterates your reputation online, piles on the hate because they disagree with you personally or professionally. And what does that mean for who you should hire? Well, that means you want to hire a ghostwriter who is your advocate. Someone who possibly disagrees with you because they're in a position to look objectively at your position and say, well, here are the three things I personally take issue with in your view from your perspective. This applies to politics, to religion, to all taboo topics in polite company, even to business issues, leadership, management, even to your personal story. As someone who's ghostwritten over 40 books, what I can tell you is that, in my experience, it is a great advantage to authors to work with someone, their alpha reader, who in this case is their ghostwriter, who can tell them, yeah, I can guarantee you that this statement you just made in the opening chapter, half your audience, you're going to lose them right away. Because as their ghostwriter, they lost me, their alpha reader. So it's my job to come alongside you, coach you, advocate for you, and work with you to reshape your ideas so that they are as attractive and as airtight as they can possibly be. And this is regardless of your political persuasion, your religious persuasion. I often find myself personally disagreeing with an author, and that's okay. Because I do not believe in the Tony Schwartz method of airing your grievances, but rather the Joshua Lysak method of ghostwriting in which I come alongside you and I be your best advocate for your manuscript, for your idea, by helping you flesh out your responses to the objections you're going to get. So that it can be the most powerful and, yes, most persuasive book it can possibly be. I have worked with everyone from, yes, politicians to religious leaders, billionaires, celebrity entrepreneurs, and there's been many times where I disagreed with the author, and again, that's okay. Whether you're super successful like that, whether you are on the level of someone like President Trump, or perhaps you just want to become better known in your industry, you and I can have a conversation about your book. And we can even discuss what some of the common objections might be to your book and how to structure your book so that you persuade even the haters to become your own evangelists. I am the world's only award-winning celebrity recommended number one international best-selling certified professional ghostwriter. I've written over 40 books. I'll help you create the best most profitable persuasion based book you can possibly write. All you have to do is click the link below this video and book a time with me. We'll talk about how to handle the common objections to your book so that you can write the best book you possibly can and reach the broadest audience possible.